The time has come to talk about trains. An integral part of transporting goods and people across the globe, trains have braved the most difficult and remote portions of the world, all in service of getting things where they need to go. There are many different types of trains, more than we could discuss in a single video. So today we'll be looking at the evolution of two major categories, passenger and freight trains. From humble beginnings to cross-country behemoths, this is the history of trains. We begin in Germany in the 16th century. Although there were no locomotives back then, according to the Institute for Transportation at Iowa State University, wooden rails, which were placed along dirt roads, helped wagon trains to more easily navigate the countryside. These rails were called wagonways, and they were the beginning of the modern railroading system as we know it. Eventually, wooden rails became iron ones, and the system spread throughout Europe. But these wagon trains were still being drawn by horses, who could only go so fast and for so long. There was a need, as humanity often liked to do, to go faster and for longer distances. Enter Richard Trevithick, the first person to use the steam engine on a railway. He improved on earlier stationary designs, and his idea would eventually become widespread when another man, George Stevenson, produced his rocket locomotive. According to the American Association of Railroads, North America first got into the railway game in 1827, with the United States taking the lead, and by 1838, rails extended from New England to as far west as Kentucky and Indiana. It was in 1862, however, when President Abraham Lincoln officially marked the beginning of the effort to complete a transcontinental railroad across the country. The process would take seven years, and was completed on May 10, 1869 in the state of Utah. The completion of the railroad marked one of the highlights of the golden age of the railroad industry. For the next 50 years, railroads would grow to over 250,000 miles of track by the time of World War I. During both world wars, trains were instrumental in transporting people and materials across the United States and around the world. Unfortunately, one of the darkest hours for the industry came when Nazi Germany used Europe's rail system to deport millions of Jews, Gypsies, people with disabilities, and other minorities to extermination camps during the Holocaust. The Allied forces fought back, however, using trains to supply major operations like D-Day in 1944. Both the First and Second World War also saw an increase in female railroad workers due to the enlistment of men in the military. And today, just under 6% of the railroad employees in the U.S. are women. In the 1950s, the age of railroad domination slowly came to an end. With the rise of cars and air travel, new modes of transportation were becoming preferred by consumers, and Harry S. Truman would be the last president to regularly use railroads during his presidency. By the 1970s, many of the larger rail companies in the U.S. weren't doing so well, and declared bankruptcy. However, the Rail Passenger Service Act of 1970 brought a major innovation for passenger rail travel, an organization whose name combines the words America and track, that's right, it's Amtrak. Amtrak, along with freight train routes such as Union Pacific and BNSF, comprise the world's longest railway network, with over 150,000 miles, 250,000 kilometers, of track crisscrossing the country. Today, both passenger and freight trains are pushing the boundaries of transportation, both in regards to fuel and speed. Diesel and biofuels have replaced the traditional steam engine, and starting in Japan in the 1960s, bullet trains have spread across the country, and high-speed rail worldwide has grown substantially in the past several decades, including in Europe and more recently, the United States. In the 21st century, although many of us prefer to use cars or fly around the globe, there's still a feeling of simplistic charm to traveling the planet by rail. From horse-drawn wagonways to vibrant industrial power, railroads and trains have had an undeniable impact on how we as a society think about travel and certainly have a bright future ahead of them. If you want to see more videos like this, leave a message in the comments and subscribe to RAC Adventures. Thanks for watching.